Take three. We are caulking woodwork. And if you're at home caulking your woodwork or using a caulking gun for the first time, this video is for you. There are several applications of caulking. Exterior, interior. This is an interior grade. Actually, you can use this exteriorly as well. But we're talking about interior caulking, okay? The rules for caulking inside are more detailed because you have to be on point. When you're caulking an exterior, the rules are, there's a lot more play where you don't have to be as exact that you have to be inside, okay? Number one, the orifice or the opening of a caulking tube has to be commensurate with the application that you're doing. So in this case, if you can come close, show them the very fine, this is, this is what we call a hairline, right? We have to caulk this hairline and therefore the opening in the caulking tube has to be very thin. And how do you do that? You simply take your caulking gun on an angle and you just clip off a little bit and then you test it to see how much is gonna come out. That's what we want. If it's wider than that, you cut too much and there's really nothing you can do. So let me show you what we do. Just take your caulking gun, steady pressure, steady pressure on the gun, and then you release when you're at the end. Make sure you push this in so that your caulking doesn't come out while you're, you're uh, feathering it out. Your little finger, wet. Just wipe it down, push it down into the thing. A couple of wipes and you're done. Make sure that you eliminate any lines that you may make from your, your cloth. Okay, so that would be done. That's complete, okay? Let's do it again. You may say, I don't have to caulk this. Well, it's not gonna look that good if you don't. Take a look at this, come in close, please. Whenever you have a piece of wood molding up against another wood, you can expect some movement, right? This stuff absorbs moisture. And so you see that movement? <clears throat> so therefore it calls for caulking, just for the fact that it moves. Because this caulking is flexible and it will move with your wood and it will not manifest a crack after you caulk it for many years. Okay, good enough. Now, here's a little tip on your caulking gun. As you're using it, and if you're a little sloppy and you have caulking like this on the tip of your caulking gun, okay, and you pick it up, you don't know where the point is, you don't know where it's coming out from, here's a little tip. Put a black mark with a magic marker on the opposite side, 180 degrees, around from the opening. So that when you pick it up, even if it's a little sloppy, you know that if your black line is here, your opening is here. Okay? So I'll be doing that later. So that I can follow that rule myself. Okay, lastly, what do you do with these holes? First of all, make sure that you have no, all the dust removed from them. There are two products that you can use here. Dry deck spackling, which is the easiest, right? And this product will turn white after it's pink. And so you just get a little on there. You go once in one direction, once in the other. Once in one direction, once in the other. Once in one direction, once in the other. And don't wipe that, let it dry, and then you sand it. But now I wanna show you another product, one that I really love. Now, if you go on Vancouver Carpenter, he shows this product. He shows two products, and this is, the, this is one of the ones that he uses. It's called Dry Dex from DAP. Okay, but, you know the product that they use to fill in little dents on your vehicle, Bondo? Well, this is a Bondo glazing putty. And this product will not shrink in these holes. The worst thing is to have brad holes, they're called brad holes. 
and then you fill them in with caulking with your thumb and then you can see them, especially if you're using semi-gloss paint. So you just simply penetrate the opening and so you get a little on your on your just like you're spackling and just come in close. You see these holes? Fill them in, same way. Now, the smell that this gives off is what you might expect. Um, it's the type of smell that gives you a headache. So follow the directions accordingly. Ventilation, etc. My favorite, I'm just gonna tell you right now, is the Bondo glazing putty because if you want to do a perfect job, you can see this is right near the entrance of the home, right? This is where all the light is. Every imperfection is going to show on this wall because of that light. Okay? So, depending on the surface that you're, you're filling in, you want to use the best caulking and the best hole fillers. Please do not use caulking for these holes. Let me show you what would happen if you did, okay? Let me show you. Let's caulk one of those things. Show them close. Show them close. Venga la cámara muy cerca de la, el pedazo de madera aquí. De diferente ángulo, sí. And you can see how that fills that in, right? Now watch this. Let me show you a hole that's caulked. And this is what many, many painters are using. Let's even do it with a, a spatula. Let's fill it in. Okay. Now, this is white caulking. It's more dense than the clear. So it's going to shrink less because the material is more dense. Now show them. Show them from this angle. You can see that you have little bellies in the surface. As soon as this stuff starts setting up, unlike this, you see how it's so dark in there? It filled in that hole and it's, it's sticking on. It's starting to get hard. Here, even after, in the last 30 seconds, it's starting to pull in. Just come in close. And you can do this twice, and what you're going to have is a dent in there. It's never going to fill in, simply because it's too soft. This material is harder. This material is harder as well. And I'm going to continue filling in the holes because the commenter really, really did a job with his, uh, these are two and a half inch brads. So it takes a lot of pressure and a lot of, a lot of bang onto the wood. So I'm gonna fill them in. My choice is going to be the Bondo Glazing Putty. Okay, if you like the video, click on like, subscribe to my channel. Let me know how you do it. A lot of you are gonna have different ways that you do it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.